Hi, this is Carolyn Herforth with thebiztruth.com and today I want to talk about pimps. Yeah, pimps. When you started your business, you were really excited to go out and do what you do, but you weren't really thinking probably that sales was going to have to be a part of it. And so you became an accidental salesperson. A lot of entrepreneurs do not like selling and have a lot of issues around getting out and having sales conversations. So PIMPS is an acronym for walking through and understanding where you might be stopping or getting stuck in initiating and dealing with sales conversations. So we'll start with the P in PIMPS. The first P stands for purpose. Get connected with your why. Why do you do what you do? And if you can get really tied in and connected with that, it might make you think a little differently about, oh my gosh, I've got to go out and help these people. I can't be sitting home being scared. I can't be sitting in my office being scared. I have a mission. I've got to change the world. So that's the first thing is really getting in touch with your why you do what you do. So that's your purpose. The I stands for influences. So we all grew up with different experiences and different stories and messages and things like that that came into our world through our parents, our friends, other adults, our teachers, and, and the experiences you had that helped you create stories around what certain things mean. And so those influences might have left a kind of mark on you where you think selling is bad or you think salespeople are bad. And so if you can go back and look at your influences and see if there's something in your past or your history that's created a story around why if that selling needs to be hard or selling is doing something to someone or, or something along those lines, it's gonna help you start getting a frame around, oh my gosh, well that's kind of a crazy story because that's not even true. The M in pimps stands for manipulation. And this comes up when you've been in a situation where you feel like you were cornered or manipulated into buying something. So you think that's how selling is done. You think, oh my gosh, that guy made me buy this thing and I really regretted it and that was such a bad experience and that's what sales is about. And so if that's your story, and it's kind of a form of influences, but it's also a very, very separate because some of us have been manipulated at one point or another in our lives and really regretted the decision we made. So you can look at that and say, all right, just because I was manipulated by the way this person sold doesn't mean I have to go about selling in that same way. So that's manipulation. The second P in pimps stands for personal self-worth. Ladies, I'm telling you, we do not place a high value on the worth, on the value, on, on the benefits, on the transformation that we bring to people through our work and through the service that we provide. And so it's so important to really own it and claim it and, and, and understand that you are so valuable and you really have something to give. And a little tip I'll give you for that is to write, to write a brag sheet. And just take some time to write down everything you've ever accomplished and everything you've ever done for people. And whenever you're feeling a little low or insecure or not very confident, it's a great thing for you to go back and look at and say, you know what, I really am the hot diggity dog. So that's something that I would recommend in terms of helping you pump up your self-worth. The fifth part of pimps is selling skills. Some people just have never sold before and don't know how to go about having a sales conversation. It's a little long to get into that for the purposes of today, but it certainly helps you understand what those five things are. And as an entrepreneur, there, you can find your own way of selling. There is a framework and an, and an approach that you can find that works for you, and it doesn't involve scripts, it doesn't involve anything else. So one of the things that I would love for you to do after you're done watching this video is go to thebiztruth.com, click on the solutions tab, and, and look at the different programs that are available to you so that you can figure out what, what you're dealing with and which one of those programs will help you the most in helping you serve more clients by closing more clients.